Good morning, friends. Myself, Dr. P. Samuel, Assistant Professor of Biotechnology of INR Organic Himal College, Sivakasi. So, in the video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the metabolites from marine microalgae. See, it is an essential component from the core paper called Marine Biotechnology for second year postgraduate students, right? So, with this few details, we will move on to the subject. First, uh, we should know what is or what are metabolites, right? See, metabolites are intermediate compounds produced during metabolic process catalyzed by several enzymes. So, first we should know the basic definition for a metabolite, right? Because uh, without knowing the definition, it is very tough to understand the concept completely, right? So, first, what metabolites are the intermediate compounds, right? They are intermediate compounds produced during metabolic process. See, what there are thousands of metabolic reactions are going on in the body, right? So, during those metabolic reactions or during the process, uh, starting from the beginning to the end, right? So, from the uh, beginning of the reaction to the end of the reaction, there are several compounds are produced. So, those intermediate compounds are called as metabolites. See, in the marine ecosystem, the organisms are subjected to stress, right? Actually, marine ecosystem is a very beautiful ecosystem for research. Why? Because the organisms are very, very different because they are subjecting to uh, stress like uh, high salt and high pressure, right? Salt loving organisms are called as halophiles, whereas pressure loving organisms are called as barophiles. So, this is a very basic thing you have to understand, right? What are halophiles and what are barophiles? Marine organisms are extremely halophilic and extremely barophilic in nature because they are exposed to high co salt concentration as well as high pressure. See, in this diagram, you could understand what are metabolites, right? So, this is uh, a brief illustration of EMP pathway. The reaction starts with glucose and it ends with the pyruvic acid. So, between glucose and pyruvic acid, there are many molecules are produced, there are many compounds are produced. Those intermediate compounds are called as metabolites, right? Very basic thing, right? You may expect this question in two mark side, right? What are metabolites? So, you are supposed to write metabolites are intermediate compounds produced during metabolic reactions. See, the marine organism are subjected to stressful environment. So, this is what we discussed in the first slide. So, during this condition, during the stressful environment, the organisms produce unusual compounds, right? So, the compounds produced by the organism under stressed stage are very special, right? They are attracting many researchers, right, for its unusual futures. Right? They are attracted because of its uniqueness. Right? These kind of compounds are not present in the organisms of terrestrial ecosystem. This is very unique to marine ecosystem because, again I want to stress this point, marine organisms are subjected to extreme conditions. Right? So, this attract, these unusual compound attract the attention of scientists all over the globe. And there are two types of metabolites. This is a very fundamental thing and very important thing you should understand, right? There are two important types of metabolites. They are primary metabolites, another one is called secondary metabolites. See, these things are very, very important, primary and secondary metabolites. And uh, what are primary metabolites? So, primary metabolites, it plays uh, its role in the biological system is concerned with growth, development and reproduction of the cell. See, primary metabolites are dealing with 
these functions they are required by the cell for its growth they are required by the cell for its development even it is required for the cell for its reproduction so this is the role of primary metabolites in terms of secondary metabolites it is derived from primary metabolite right as the name suggests it is derived from primary metabolite uh, these are otherwise called as competitive weapons right these are otherwise called as competitive weapons this you have to understand the unique name given to secondary metabolites is they are competitive weapons they are derived from primary metabolites right see this is the database where you can find a complete profile of metabolite extracted from seaweed right you can also uh, have a look at this or you can also access this website uh, for uh, acquiring more details about metabolites their structure their origin their role everything right so as i told you in the very first slide and this presentation is dealing with the marine microalgae right so what are marine microalgae so they are one of the significant component of the food chain or food web of the marine ecosystem see they are very important component and they are being exploited as the source of food and medicine why they are focused by human beings because they are focused by human being because for its uh, because of its role in food and as well as in medicine industries they produce variety of compounds ranging from steroids fatty acids polysaccharides right they have various roles right that is why it attracts uh, the researchers to do active research in uh, the thrust area right see these are all some examples of commercially important microalgae it starts from the most common one called uh, dunaliella right chlorella hematococcus spirulina right and skeletonema tetracelmis right Na nanochloris see these are all the commercially important microalgae which means these are all most familiar algae in the industry side because of its uniqueness so let's see their role right let's discuss about its role in various areas so microalgae in diet it is spirulina you know that it is a unicellular algae and it, it it grabs attention of millions of people across the globe and it has it is known for many people because of its rich amino acid content it is estimated around 62% and it is also rich in vitamins like a b1 right b2 and b12 even it is a significant proportion of phytopigments like xanthophyll and carotenoids right and the microalgae has significant role in diet also and it 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 produces essential fatty acids uh, example linoleic acid which is which cannot be generally synthesized by human beings right to meet the global demand it is measured about 1000 metric tons of spirulina are produced annually because of its importance see linoleic acid an important fatty acid which is not generally being synthesized by the body so our body needed so what we have to do is we have to produce it through the algae and we can take it as a supplement right so because of its uh, demand right there are about 1000 metric tons of spirulina are produced annually fine so the world largest producer of spirulina is Hainan Simai, right? It is an enterprise in China. So, out of thousand metric tons, two hundred metric tons were produced by the China alone, right? Such an globally important microalgae, spirulina. A company based in Hawaii called Sinotech, they produced microalgae. 
under the name called Spirulina pacifica, right? This is this will be definitely asked in uh, quiz, right? So Spirulina pacifica is the trade name given by Sinotech, a company based in Hawaii. And pigments like phycocyanin, a blue color uh, pigment extracted from microalgae is being sold in the market under the trade name Lima Blue, right? Don't forget these names, Lima Blue, which in turn used as a blue colorant in cosmetics. Used in cosmetics. Importance. See, they have a role in food industries as supplements, essential fatty acid supplements. Mm, even they have a role in cosmetics also. In aquaculture, there are more than 40 different microalgae are being given as feed to cultivable fishes. Feeding them with microalgae significantly increases their nutritional content. See the advantage. Feeding the cultivable fish with microalgae increase the nutritional content. It is also proved to raise the population of zooplankton which in turn taken in by aquatic juvenile animals. Even small animals can able to take up the zooplanktons uh, whose population is raised by the microalgae. Right? Microalgae feeding fishes have several advantages. Right? It prevents the accumulation of abdominal fat, right? See the advantages of microalgae provided to fishes. It prevents the accumulation of abdominal fat. It provides better flavor and uh, it increases the consistency of uh, fish flesh. Even it gives brighter skin to the fish. So these uh, properties will attract the people or will attract the consumers towards fish so which increase the economic value right see these are all the algae being used in uh, being used as uh, a uh, supplement in uh, aquaculture industries right and one notable thing uh, growth rate of fish larva seems to be raised by the carotenoids produced by Dunaliella and Hematococcus species, right? They have a significant role in the physiology of fish also. These microalgae seems to be raised by carotenoids, right? This will increase the level of carotenoids, uh, seems to be raised by carotenoids produced by Dunaliella and uh, Hematococcus species, right? So these compounds will increase the growth rate. In addition, there is another uh, metabolite called lutein produced by uh, Murielopsis species also has a significant role in fish development, right? Other organisms like shrimp, salmon and trout respond positively in growth during the earlier stage if, if fed with uh, astrazanthin. Astrazanthin is one of uh, the derivative of carotenoids, right? See, these microalgae, these microalgae have significant role, right? That is why it is attracted by people uh, from all over the globe, right? So it increases the growth of fish larva, point number one, very important point. It, uh, it, it, it uh, increases the fish development, right? Point number two, and even shrimp, salmon and uh, Trout respond positively in growth, right? Finally, uh, docosexanoic acid and icosepentanoic acid uh, are, I mean, uh, these uh, fatty acids, these fatty acids of rotifers are increased by tetracelonis, which is another example for microalgae. See, directly they have influential role on aquatic animals, I mean aquaculture. So this is why it is preferred by the people, right, for for its economic value, right. It increases the skin tone, right, it increases the, 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 the texture of the flesh, even it gives better flavor to the fish, right. 
see there are many roles are being played by the microalgae in aquaculture field even in farming industry right like in the case of pigs and uh, poultry uh, pigs fed with microalga based supplements possess nutritional values right normal pigs uh, with uh, pigs fed with microalga they possess high nutritional value they are immune response they show good response to uh, diseases and uh, they are uh, which means what they are uh, they are supposed to resistant against some diseases they are fertile in nature and they can i mean we can grow them in controlled uh, weight condition protein from microalgae will definitely replace conventional protein supplements right microalgae itself enough right no need to uh, provide additional conventional protein supplements it itself enough uh, there is an algae called porphyridium species which shows that the protein from this algae shows the level of decrease the level of cholesterol in the yolk and simultaneously increase the color of the yolk due to the presence of carotenoids right people prefer egg of this type right egg with uh, uh, increased uh, yolk uh, consistency as well as decreased level of cholesterol and even uh, providing uh, the poultry with uh, the protein supplements derived from porphyridium will also reduce the level of cholesterol in the yolk and uh, microalgal metabolites of health benefits see uh these carotenoids are um, lipophilic components right they are present in higher plants and uh, microalgae this is the point you have to understand right microalgae are i mean carotenoids are important lipophilic components which means what they are soluble in lipids so they are known for its biomedical potentials carotenoids were pro were proved to have anti inflammatory and anti cancer activities right they have significant biomedical role also biomedical importance also they have anti inflammatory and anti cancer effects see in the global market it is a billion dollar business right it cost i mean it is around 1.2 million us dollars most of the carotenoid derivatives are synthesized through chemical methods right nowadays microalgae are introduced into the process of metabolites production right most recently after uh, understanding their complete metabolism microalgal metabolism scientists have started to use microalgae in the process of carotenoid production and more than 400 type of carotenoids are known so far right every 400 type of carotenoid possess biomedical importance one such important um, what's that metabolite is beta carotene and this is targeted by many people around the globe and the most common producer is donaliella salina which is a most common marine microalga and this beta carotene is an important component of precursor pro vitamin a it is an important component and the beta carotene has significant role in food and cosmetics industries right they are known for its role in food and cosmetics industries and natural form of beta carotene is readily absorbed by the body than the synthetic form beta carotene synthesized by donaliella bardaville right has significant role in reducing the risk of atherosclerosis development see this is what this is why microalgae are preferred right because it reduces the development of atherosclerosis in mice as well as human beings another form of uh, metabolite is astaxanthin which is another important carotenoid it is produced by fresh water microalgae right understand it is produced by the fresh water microalgae called hematococcus pluvialis right it is a two stage process so under environmental stress usually the cell wall of hematococcus pluvialis is very thin in nature so under uh, environmental stress the cell wall turns into thick one which is leads to which which is due to the accumulation of astaxanthin in the cell wall and it has greater economic value because a cost of astaxanthin is found to be 
2500 US dollars I mean per kilogram of astaxanthin is cost about 2500 US dollars right seed has many biomedical importance it protects organisms from UV light and it is found to have uh, significant uh, therapeutic values while treating diseases like cancer and inflammatory diseases right uh, nephropathy and uh, neurodegenerative diseases right they have a wide variety of activities and it is found that in the laboratory astaxanthin increased the antibody titer right see it is in the laboratory level research that it increased the antibody titer in laboratory mice and it easily cross blood brain barrier well very good one very good uh, component and it won't form any crystals in the eye, right? This is an important feature of astaxanthin. Another one is called canthaxanthin. Canthaxanthin have promising role in poultry industry, right? It is known for its role in uh, poultry industry. When supplied to poultry as protein supplement, it increase vitamin E content of the liver, right? It increase the vitamin E content of the liver. It is produced by Cynodesmus comarachi species and Donaliella salina, right? These are all the producers of Canthaxanthin. And lutein, it is also an important type of carotenoid and it is essential component of food and human serum. And lutein is found to be the important pigment of uh, retina as well as lens of human eye. If several epidemiological studies have revealed that presence of lutein found to risk found to reduce the risk of acquiring diseases see it is such an important component lutein is an important component because presence of lutein in the human serum in significant level could reduce the risk of acquiring disease right produces chlamydomona species act Axinochlorella species, right, and Donaliella species are the chief producers of lutein, right. And uh, hope we have come to the end of uh, the video lecture. Uh, thank you for your patient listening. I hope this video would uh, fulfill your perception about the metabolites from marine microalgae. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for being with me and uh, I kindly request you to stay with me to uh, to discuss about important topics in the same subject. I am sure we will meet you in yet another classic video. Bye-bye. Take care.